You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com, how you kids doing? Andrew writes, hey asshole, returning customer here. I have a video thing, a request that I think could benefit myself as well as other single guys looking to become more minimalist. I heard you say in one of your videos that you think a single guy should be able to live on 16000 a year. I was wondering if you could break this down into categories and make a minimalist budget guy type video with how much to spend on housing, transportation, food, entertainment, etc. 16000 seems a bit extreme, so if you could make a budget based on that and then maybe a bit more realistic budget for someone with their own apartment or house or whatnot. Uh, we'll start with the single guy and then maybe move on um, because it just I could talk for hours on that depending on your circumstance and whether you're writing out, you have a duplex, triplex, or whatever. Adding whatever you think would be any good rules and the like, don't spend more on X percent of your income on housing or whatever you think would be good. Let me know the price of a video. Thanks. All right. <clears throat> so I went back and I consulted this book, Batch of Pad Economics, because that's where I had this minimalist budget. And my suspicions were correct. What I, two things I, I suspected. One, this book came out in 2013, so there's been a little bit of inflation. And then two, Obamacare had passed by 2013, but... We had yet to have the premiums just ass rape us and double every year. Because uh, I remember paying uh, $90 a month for health care insurance. And now I'm just shy of $300. Uh, but, you know, it's the Affordable Health, Affordable health Care Act. And you guys vote Democrat all the time. Anyway, so that was a huge, that was a huge. I, I know people who are now spending more on their health insurance because they have family and kids. They're spending more on health insurance than their own damn mortgage. So when I redid the figures, it's almost dead spot on to 16000 But when you account for inflation and Obamacare, now we're into the 17000 18000 uh, for a single guy. Right? So let's just go through the, we'll start with a single minimalist guy. And I even was a little bit charitable with these figures, in my opinion. But it's, it still adds up to 17000 So rent... $500 a month. We are assuming you are not living in New York City, LA, San Francisco, or any one of these other overpopulated, traffic-laden shitholes. All right? Uh, you're also not Tina, the suburbanite princess who just has the daddy. Live in the ritziest, coolest, uptowniest part of uptown with a schwank pad where they have like those... They look like catwalks, but all there is ornamental, like these new condos that come up. And... Um, you're, you're living in a studio apartment or you're splitting a one bedroom with your buddy, which me and my buddy Hammer did. And back then I was paying like 250. Remember one time I was paying 175 just for a room. So even if you are in a <clears throat> major metro area, you may not be in the nicest part of town, but you should be able to find lodging pretty easily for $500 a month. I would even argue, because I'm arguing for the majority of the, of the country, not, not the coasters, uh, you, you should be able to find, if, if you're paying more than that or, or rent is so expensive, you shouldn't be living in that town. I remember reading an article in The Guardian about these um, adjunct professors having to resort to prostitution. And surprise, surprise, they're all living in the San Francisco Bay Area or San Jose. It's like, move, move. Oh, no, we got to stay here because this is our community. Anyway, don't tell me it has to be more than 500 don't tell that that's that's dirt that's that's uh, ample that's ample you could probably make it a little bit less utilities if you're living that cheap you're probably splitting your utilities even today uh, with my house I spend what in the depths of winter I will spend maybe a hundred twenty dollars uh, but then again I have my own wood burning stove uh, I throw on blankets I insulate the hell out of the house uh, I keep Keep it down low. So utilities, if you're splitting an apartment or something like that, that should be around 50. No more than 50. Cell phone, 40 bucks. I think that's about fair. Food, I gave a little bit extra. I, like, I looked up like the, the thrift savings plan is 200. I'm like, yeah, let's throw 250 because you're bachelors. Transportation, I assume a 15 mile one way commute. You're doing that twice a, a day, 30 miles, uh, five days a week, blah, 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 da, da, da. You get a car that has 35 miles a gallon because you're not going to buy some gas guzzling SUV. 18 gallons at $2.50 a gallon is $46. I rounded it up to 100 because you're not just going to be driving to work, you're going to be driving some other places. Again, somewhat charitable. <clears throat> and keep in mind, we'll talk about it later. I know guys who bike, I know guys who take the bus. I mean, I know some extremists who could get, get it down below 10 grand easy. Uh, I talked to a couple of them. Uh, early Retirement Extreme, there's some forums on that guy's site. He wrote a book, Early Retirement Extreme. That's the name of the book. 
uh, Fisker. And um, you can, I mean, this is, this is living in luxury, what I'm telling you right now. Uh, do, 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 do. Car insurance, uh, it's $50 a month because you're not going to have a fancy car, you're going to get liabilities only. Repairs, I'm going to assume you have tools, I'm going to assume you're going to do your own repairs and all you have to do is buy the gadgetry. I'm also going to assume you're going to keep your car in good shape. That could that could be volatile though. That I admit that you know all of a sudden you're facing a $500 repair bill that one month. But I'm going to amortize it 30 times 12. Uh, what is that? 36, 360 bucks a year. Yeah, that's about right. Health insurance. I'm going to say $200 a month. It could be more. It could be less. But if you're a minimalist, you might go and get cheaper insurance on the exchange. Clothes. Don't tell me you spent. I I even felt shame for putting $5 a month on clothes. I I don't think even. Well, the girlfriend buys a lot of clothes for me. So, well, not a lot. She's like, I think you need new jeans. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. And I'm like, well, there's only a hole in the crotch. It's still fine. I can patch it up with duct tape and then I'm... <laughs> but honestly, I do not spend more. Never have I... Unless I had to go buy suits for like a job that I just got. I don't think I've spent more than $100 a year on clothes. I mean, you go to Goodwill, you go to hand-me-downs. I still get hand-me-downs. Um, it's good being short. Uh, but yeah, man, you're not spending more than $5 a month on clothes. Uh, oh wait, did I, look at this, I double counted health insurance. Did I do that? Hang on, I double counted health insurance. Boom, even, uh, some simple math I did wrong. Yeah, even with Obamacare. Clothes, health insurance. Okay, all right, here we go. Oh, that was meant to be entertainment. Oh, I mislabeled that. All right, so let's just say your bare minimum. We haven't talked about entertainment, all right? $14,700. You add all that up, multiply it by 12, $15,000 budget. Okay. So now we say entertainment because man cannot live on bread and water alone. Entertainment. Let's say $200 a month. Again, it's a fair amount. Now you're at $17,100. So um, a little bit more. Uh, yeah. So that's it. That's, you know, I'm sure in the bayou of Mississippi, you could find it even cheaper than that. I'm sure if you live in San Francisco, it's going to be a lot more than that. But the average, you know, metropolitan area in the United States that isn't a, a self-absorbed uh, coast a town, uh, you should be able to live, a single guy should be able to live on about 17 grand. Right? It's not going to be terribly fun. And like I said before, I know guys, like they're like communes, they're monks, they live in monasteries. Um, one guy was telling me like, yeah, I don't, I bike. I don't, I don't even use the bus because, you know, I save money on the bus pass. Um, these, the, you can get it down even cheaper than that. But very easily, a single man uh, can live on about seventeen grand, you know, $16,000 in 2013 dollars. Now, when it comes to your own apartment, your own house, yeah, then it's going to go up. It's going to go up. If you insist on having your own apartment, now you're looking at minimum seven fifty, dollars maybe. I mean, that's a studio nowadays, at least in the Twin Cities. Um, a house, you're going to have a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, home insurance, repairs. You can amel ameliorate that with renting out rooms to your buddies. Uh, that's how I ended up doing it. I had a triplex first, and I got a duplex. Uh, without that, there's no way I would have been able to pay off my house or live. Uh, there are times where it's like, yeah, I needed that rental income. There's no way I was going to make rent. I should have just gone on welfare all the time because girls would have just been just as impressed with me. Like, you're on welfare? That's so brave. My mom's on welfare too. She has her master's in public health administration. Can't find a job. But, uh, and I, I can't go through every possible scenario, but yeah, guys, this is, this is what you can do, you know. Let me just do some quick numbers. Let's say you're a programmer, fresh out of college, you make your 60 grand. The government wants at least 30% of that. 42,000, that minus 17,000. You're saving 25 grand a year. I, it, this stuff is possible. Now, would I, would I recommend this life? Not really, no, because it's not that fun. I mean, it's, it's doable. And what's, what a salvation is, is when you will typically have this budget is you'll be in your 20s, but you'll have a lot of friends and it'll be fun anyway. All right, so that's where the, the value of humans being more important than things come in. But yeah, once, as you get older, you're going to make more money. Your friends are all going to get married and the girlfriends aren't going to let them come out and play with you. Uh, and then you're going to have to find other stuff to do. And then as you guys all know, I have hobbies that require a little bit more 
expense. Motorcycle riding, I gotta go out. Now I do it on the cheap. Motorcycles get really great mileage. Uh, and I also crash at people's houses, but I'm, you know, I'm eating out more because I don't carry my refrigerator on the back of my motorcycle. Um, I usually I buy my buddy's dinner or something for the for the lodging or whatever. So your expenses do go up, and you know, then other, you know, some hobbies if you want to get into sports like a buddy of mine windsurfs. Well, that that equipment isn't cheap. Um, but yeah, this is just to, as a baseline to survive seventeen thousand one hundred dollars. You can do it. And you're not going to be, as long as you pursue pursuits that are not um, expensive, you know, more intellectual, like listening to podcasts, running outdoors, working out. Um, I suppose we should throw in, you know, $20 a month for a gym membership if you live in the northern climes. Uh, so, you know, you could, you could, you know, but 20 grand, 20 grand, that, that should handle it. That should be able to handle it. No problem. Um, so yeah, it's I'm not I'm not BSing when I when I said that it, it is 16 grand back then, 17 grand now, 20 grand if you want to be a little bit more realistic. But remember, man, there are some minimalist monks out there that will put me to shame. You know, it's <laughs> they would put my my 20 something self to shame uh, based on how minimalist they were. So all right, that's it. You guys got questions? Cap's got answers. Assholeconsulting.com, America's older brother, and the world's only professional asshole. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.